going to show you really quick how to download scripts and something called Paper Monkey. So I'm going to kind of over explain some of this stuff and go really slow. So if you're already kind of familiar with it, um, this video is moving on for you. So the first thing that you want to do if you don't know how to get to your Chrome extension store or whatever web browser you use. And uh, first off, I recommend that you do use Chrome because there are a lot of hits that uh, you need Chrome for. Um, but if you do live in 1986 and you use Internet Edge, Explorer Edge or whatever, uh, it's the same basic principle, but I'm going to make a really quick video to kind of show you all how to do that, too. Uh, so all you have to do is put in Taper, Taper Monkey, and then the name of your web browser. So I use Chrome because I live in the year of our Lord, 2018. So then it's going to come up and it'll be whatever the name of your browser is. And then you just click. So I've already added it, so I'm just going to download it. Uh, you're just going to download it. I've already added it to Chrome. You're going to click on there, and it's going to say, do you want to add this? You say yes, blah, blah, blah. Um, I will I will download this to kind of show you guys how to do it. So you just want to get mTurk. You don't need Dropbox for Gmail. So I'm just checking, and then it's going to say add extension. You say yes. I'm just going to delete that because I have no need for that. That's it. So that's all up there on your thing. So now that you guys have Taper Monkey installed, it should have took about three seconds. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to just manage extensions. Um, that's you just click on it. I'm going to delete this really quick. By the way, that's how you delete um, extensions. You just right click on it. Right click. So that bad boy's gone. So I am going to show you guys how to download scripts. So what scripts are are programs um, that run on the Taper Monkey. And the web, the web, oh, you can't see my finger. The web thing, and what they do is they tweak or completely change um, the coding of a website that you're using. So you don't really need to know what coding is to use it, but I will kind of explain it. So uh, if you ever were on like MySpace a long time ago, if you're a little older and you use MySpace and you could kind of change things, it's really similar to that. So uh, you probably heard of HTML, it's like that, but usually people really don't use a whole lot of HTML anymore. But it's just basic code, like language that you use to. Um, to change a website that you that you are going to. So it's how they build website, is using code in, it's how they change websites, it's all the same, but you don't need to know any of that. Again, it's just click, click, click. So you got Taper Monkey, you should have this little thing that doesn't look anything like a monkey up there. So then you're just going to go to some place called Greasy Fork. So I had a lot of people that were kind of hesitant to do this, and I'm kind of in this video to show you all that it's a real thing and I really do it and it's 100% safe. So what this is, is safe and useful user scripts. There are people that are way smarter than I am uh, and they get on there and they make scripts for when they run a web page to use in your little taper monkey. So you can just click on mTurk right here or if you want to click on it, you can just do that and put in mTurk. So I'm just going to get click on mTurk and this is going to show me like all the different scripts that Gracie forecasts. Now, there are other places that you can get user scripts, but I don't really trust a lot of them. I just really, really trust Greasy Fork because, again, it has the HTTPS, and I've been using it for quite some time, and I've never had any kind of problem. So there are lots and lots and lots of scripts, and I know it can be really confusing. I'm not going to go into all of them, but I am going to go um, on some of the main ones. So J Junior and Turk Panda Crazy. Panda just means preview and accept. So um, mTurk used to be a lot different before they updated it a few months ago. Uh, and you used to use this thing right here called the uh, auto refresh. So it would just refresh. So I'll show you guys. It would just refresh the browser that you were in. So if you were trying to get a certain hit, it would just refresh it so you could accept it. But mTurk changed the um, changed the way that it works. So now uh, I no longer use Panda Crazy, but if you are interested in it, I will make some videos to kind of show you how to do it. But it just pretty much helps you get hits when um, when a hit says that there's no more of these hits. But I wouldn't really recommend that when you first start out until after you've been doing it for a while. So I run something called Turkmaster, um, and that's what this is right here. So when I hit play, it's going to give me all the hits that are in this thing that I have right here. Or even if I'm on another tab on mTurk, it's going to pop up with new hits that are like surveys above 50 cents. Um, the ones where you have to listen to a song and give like a little review on it. Uh, this one is ones for, I think, hits over 20 cents or something like that. And they're really easy to tweak. And I will show you guys how to do that, too. Um, that's probably a good hit. So that's what 
this is what TrekMaster is. So it's super duper easy. I think it's the most user friendly interface. Uh, they do have one called MTurk Suite, which I use on occasion that a lot of people really like. But I personally like TurkMaster because you can just hook it up and you don't really have to do anything else after you um, get the hits that you like. It's just like really, really, really click, 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 click. So when you do this, all you're going to do is just click. And I already have TurkMaster downloaded. Um, so what you're going to do is just click on reinstall. So you're just going to say install and it's going to maybe ask you for a few questions. Make sure that you accept them. Um, I don't know why this isn't showing any of the code. So this is what, what it's doing. So this isn't doing anything on your computer. It's only going to rewrite source code. So this is what all this stuff is right here. This is source code. So it's going to rewrite source code for the Amazon Mechanical Turk. So that's how this came up because someone was like really smart and decided to make a new source code. And I'm gonna hit pause on all these um, to make a new source code. So again, you don't need to really understand what it is, but I am kind of telling y'all. So uh, this kind of goes through it and it looks a lot more complicated than it is, but this kind of tells you what it's for. A page monitor and web app for web app, web app. Designed to make MTurk more efficient and lead monitor Turk search pages and requesters auto accept Turk hits that you miss. So super easy. All you gotta do is hit reinstall. When it's reinstall, it does nothing, but it will um oh pop the blocker, that might be good. So um that's the first one that you should get. So I'm gonna go back and get a script that I don't have to kind of show you what happened. So um this is the one the second one that you need so that is one two three four five six down um if you don't download turk master for some reason you definitely want to get turk opticon so you're going to want to click on that and i'm going to show you why so i have in turk open uh i have programs running on my thing but if you don't it's just going to look like this like there's not going to be any information but when you get Turk Opticon, it's going to give you information from all the other people that have used MTurk to know like uh, how the pay is rated out of five, how fast they are to pay you, how easily you can communicate with them, and how fair they are with rejecting or accepting hits. So I kind of already talked about this, but the only thing you need to be worried about is getting a hit rejected. So um, this is going to really stop you from doing any kind of hits that you're going to get rejected for or even ones that are really low pay. So, um, and they're color coded too. So red is usually bad, but you can kind of look at it if it's fair and you're like, oh, I'll take a chance. That's fine. Don't do ones that are like one or two. I don't really do a lot that are three either, unless they're really high paying surveys. I take a chance. So this is what Turk Opticon is going to do. It's going to give you options like to know more about the people that are going to be the requesters. Uh, it's going to give you way more quick information so you can know what's going on. And you can also, um, it's always bugs out, but you can also click on here. It always, well, sometimes you click on there and you can like hit read reviews. And also if you get blocked a lot by somebody, you're able to post a review too. So it's really, really good for that. So the two scripts that you're going to want to do first are TurkMaster and Turk Opticon. So another one that I really like to use and keep in mind that it is a little buggy, but it's the one that tells me like my projected earnings for the day. So um, that's going to be called... Uh, turkey bacon and we're going to get that one too um, but it can be a little buggy it's not always 100 percent accurate so you just kind of got to bear with them so um i'm going to download this mturk hourly because i've never downloaded it just to show you all like what happens when you install a script uh, so we are going to just click i'm not i'm not sure where we think this went okay so we're just going to click on install this script um, and this is going to be the same thing that happens when you install yours and that's it. And then it's just going to automatically show up over here in your little MTurk. So I'm going to refresh this. And you see how it just showed up right here? It's going to tell me everything. So that's all you have to do. You just have to click and install it and then that just totally installed by itself. And it's going to give you all of this information right here. So the most important thing that I can tell you is um, when you are doing MTurk, oh, that is actually really handy. It tells me how much I made an hour, uh, just right there, is that you only have one tab open to your actual dashboard. So when you log into MTurk, click on dashboard on your one tab, and then the rest of the tabs you can have open as many as your computer can handle or that you want to Amazon MTurk, but only have one dashboard or else the, the, um, the script things won't work because they only work off of the interface on the dashboard. So that's it. Um, this should be super duper easy and you should be able to do it without any kind of trouble. Again, it's just like click, click, click. Uh, 
but if you do have any questions again you can just go email me or comment on here and that's it and i hope you guys do it and have fun um i will show you really quick how to set up once you get turk master done uh, but if you have any questions and you need a more in-depth thing then totally that's fine too so say that i want to look for surveys surveys uh and ones that pay over 50 cents because i really like to do surveys so i'll just hit i'll look that up and then all i have to do is um watch this page and then i'm going to name it surveys 50 man because i already have one of that uh and then if i want it to alert me like to go ding 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 i can hit that so i just hit alert and i want it to check every 60 seconds i can have a check every 30 seconds i can have a check every five seconds um i usually do about every 60 seconds so that's every one minute and then that's going to come over here and that's going to give me those so i'm also i have two of these running actually right now so another thing that this does is say i'm working on this hit right here it's going to pop up and show me hits that i can do so um attitudes about bible verses so okay i'm going to click and i'm just going to return this one so say that i find this hit that i really like which usually you can only do a survey one time i would just hit watch this hit so i'm going to return this and again you can return stuff without really having any penalization it's only when you um get stuff rejected so i'm going to show you all i like to do let's see so i'm going to do one this one first I'm going to make a thing for a, uh, a hit that I actually like. Um, okay. This is taking a second. Uh, let's see. That's a good hit. Count things and images. So let's see. Okay. This is a batch. So there's 7,383 of those. So if I want this to kind of alert me whenever there's a new one of these or whenever there's more, I just hit watch this hit. And um, if you want it to automatically accept, you just have auto accept. You want it to only get one, you hit one. You want alerts, hit alerts. Silent batches for a scene. That means they stop alerting you. And then you just do it for how often you want that to happen. So I'm going to save that. So that's going to go over here. And that's going to automatically get these things for me. So that's it. That's what scripts are. Um, I might actually not like to get rid of that one. I'm not sure if I like it. So that's it. Uh, again, if you have any questions. A user who wants to access the cross or I don't know. Um, just you know, let me know, and I will. Uh, I'll help you all out. That's it.